Today we're going to take a look at the Kaiweats KM201 multimeter. And I do want to start off by saying that Kaiweats did send this to me at no charge for the purpose of doing some videos and a review. This multimeter is pretty much fully automatic. I mean, you can change through a few functions, but otherwise it is automatic. It's a very affordable price point and it is also very compact, so that makes it easy to carry around and store. This would be great for the home user or DIY person who just needs to check to see if they're getting voltage to things or see if something has power that they may be unsure of. In the box here, you are going to get the unit itself. Underneath the tray will be this pouch as well as the instruction manual and batteries. The batteries are already in this unit. Onto the unit itself, obviously it is very compact, just big enough to fit in your hand nicely without being too small. You do have a nice size screen for a unit that has the features that this one does. On the top here, you've got your no contact sensor here. And then over here, you've got a little LED that functions as a flashlight that you can turn on and off. Your leads are going to be permanently attached on this unit, so you can't remove them for storage or replacement. They are a reasonable length for this unit and will still allow you to set this down and use both hands to manipulate the probes. Now the probes on here, these tips appear very short. Do be aware that these are capped, so you can pull these caps off and expose more of the probe itself. On the back of the unit, there is a spot to snap these leads into to store them. So they just snap in like that. You got nothing sticking out the top other than the wires here. You can just kind of fold up on the back. So under the unit itself, you've got a power button down here and then you've just got these other two buttons and that's it. So you're gonna do a long press on here until it beeps and it's gonna turn on. Uh, it says auto right on the screen. So this is gonna automatically detect AC or DC and then give you a voltage reading. That's pretty much all there is to it to get a reading out of this. It's gonna tell you whether it's AC or DC, and then it's going to give you the voltage. If you press the function button, that's gonna switch you to the non-contact voltage, which uses this sensor up here, and it's going to give you an H for a high signal, an L for a low signal, and then it won't do anything for um, no signal at all. And then of course the backlight will change colors too based on whether it is high or low. If you hit this again, you're going to get the live reading, which basically does the same thing, only you use the red test probe instead of this non-contact sensor. So you have two options there to detect if there is voltage. Now that doesn't give you an actual voltage reading. It's just telling you whether it's detecting a high or low AC signal. On this last setting, it is phase detection, and that allows you to kind of go through a three wire setup and figure out which is high and low and that sort of thing. I don't have anything to test that on um, just because you really kind of need to split those three wires apart to be able to do it accurately. And I don't have anything at the moment that is um, available or that I'm willing to split apart just to test this. And then you press it one more time, you're back to your auto. If you hold down that same function key as the long press, you're gonna get your backlight on. And if that's just a white backlight, so you don't have the red or green like you would on some of those sensing modes. The H button, all this one does on a short press is hold your reading. So it's gonna just retain whatever you read when you pull your leads away instead of dropping back to zero. And then if you hold down that H button, that is what is going to turn the flashlight at the top on. And that's about it with this unit. Hold it again, it's gonna turn off. And then the power button, you hold it down, it will beep and it will turn off. So all in all, this is a very basic and straightforward unit, but a lot of times that's all you really need to kind of troubleshoot things around the house. Um, if you need more than that, then of course, uh, you need to decide whether you have that ability and knowledge to diagnose things further. But this will at least get you to, does it have power or not? And what is the voltage? Is it enough to run whatever uh, is plugged in or hooked up? If you need to read amperages and resistance and all of that sort of thing, then this is not the unit for you. But if you're looking to be able to say, okay, this outlet has power or this tool is getting power, then this is a perfectly suitable unit that can do those things for you. 
It's also very portable and pocketable, really. All in all, not a bad little unit. And if you would like to give that a try, I have some affiliate links and coupon codes in the description below. You can check those out. Even if this particular unit is not for you, definitely check out Kiwi's website. They have a lot of other diagnostic tools, uh, actual like hand tools for electrical and electronics. They have wire strippers, which I have a set of that I really like. They've got crimpers. They also have thermal cameras and soldering irons. So anything in the electrical or electronics arena, uh, they may have something that you like or need. And the coupon code in the description is going to work on the whole website. So go and check that out.